I cannot believe I'm finally saying this, but hello everyone and welcome to my channel! I won't clap at you this whole time, but I am just so excited. If only you knew how long I've been planning to do this. I've been planning and hesitating and questioning myself, and I finally said, you know what, here we go. Now I'm not going to start off the video telling you subscribe, because honestly, if you get to the end of this video and you don't already want to subscribe on your own, and I didn't do my job. So for those who don't know me at all, this might be your first time even seeing my face. So let me tell you who I am. My name is Gabrielle, but most of the people that know me call me Gaby. Yes, Gaby, not Gabby, um, or Gabe. And on the internet for the last two years, I've been Miss GCH, which is just my initials. Let me back up and give you a little background. So since about 2014, I've been blogging online um and actually it started with when i big chopped my hair in 2013 and just got to posting my curls they were flourishing i was trying all these new things and people were saying can you show us what you're doing can you tell us what you're doing what's your hair regimen you know all those natural hair questions and so i used to reply on social media but then i was like you know what let me just go ahead and make a blog several people had said why don't you just go ahead and make a blog so I did. So the OGs that have been following me for a while might remember Diary of a Curly Girl. Yeah, that's where I started at in 2014. But it didn't really go anywhere. Um, I wasn't consistent on it. I shared my curly story and I think frequently asked questions and then I just kind of was over it, which is terrible because I didn't really use it for what it was intended for. Um, but I just felt uninspired. I was excited to do it at first, but then I was like, I wanna talk about so much more than just hair, cause I'm not just my hair, okay? So I went ahead and moved forward and changed the platform to Miss GCH. Um, and I started on Tumblr, but now I'm on Weebly. I've been on that for two years. And my consistency, mm, I would not give myself a good grade on consistency for these last few years. Um, I really have been in school and, you know, trying to balance it and not really making time for it. But I kind of got to a point where I was like, school is not my entire life. That's not my entire identity. I grew up in the arts. I grew up around creativity. Literally, it was woven into every day of my life. And then it was like I got to college and just arts like fell off, fell to the wayside. And then when I was unhappy and uninspired, it was like, what's missing? And lo and behold, I was like, you're not doing anything creative, anything artistic, anything that allows you to tap into that side of yourself and just kind of let it flourish. So that's where the blog kind of came in. And now it's getting serious. I'm planning on getting pretty consistent. And now I have this awesome opportunity to take it to YouTube and be even more creative and uh, y'all again I can't express to you how exciting this is for me I'm just so ready to get going get started and to share more of my journey with you all so if you follow me on the blog which shameless plug has been averaging about 300 views and topped almost a thousand views at the end of last year if you follow me on there you know we talk about journey so my journey just what I've gone through I've been blessed to inspire tons of people and so I said let me keep people updated in one kind of core area um, on my blog I talk about hair so I didn't leave my hair girls out my natural listas so I share all things from different styles to different leave-in conditioners that I use or different other products um, I talk about my faith so I do devotions on there which just started a few months ago so I think I only have one of them right now 
but I have a few coming up in the queue. Um, and what else do we talk about? I also share with you all my inspiration. And so anything that happens in the news that catches my eye or these amazing boss women that I'm surrounded by that inspire me or anything really that inspires me, I share with you on the inspiration tab. And then I also added a miscellaneous tab a few months ago to share with you all just things that don't necessarily fit in those categories. A lot of times it's social justice related. Um, I can't help it. I'm an advocate at heart. So all of those awesome things are now going to be here on the blog. It's literally Life Journal with Miss GCH, meaning my blog in real life. I'm really excited. Sometimes when I'm typing a blog, it's like, this would sound so much better if I could just talk it out. You know, it's hard to sometimes put inflections in your voice and all that kind of stuff and um, exclamation points and all that absurdity while I'm typing. So how about I just tell you? Um, so don't worry for all of those who follow my blog. It's not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere, okay? The blog will still be there. And right now, blogs will be up on Wednesdays and YouTube videos will be up on Saturdays. I'm so excited. I mean, get excited. It's going to be awesome. So what better way to start off than to share with you all things about me. So we're going to do 12. I had to, I had to catch it because I was nervous that it wasn't going to be the right way. So we're hoping this says 12. If it says 21, just know you're only getting 12. Okay, you're not getting 21 facts about me. So some of you that already know me may think this is redundant. But hopefully there's some things in here that you have no idea about, okay? So let's get started. So I am 24. Um, at this very moment, technically I'm 23, but you all will see this video when I'm 24. So wish me happy birthday because on February 25th when this drops, I will be turning 24. Number two. I have been natural for almost five years. It'll be five years on May. Oh, I should know my natural anniversary date. It's like May 11th, May 8th, May 11th. One of those, in May, I will be five years natural. Um, and if you wanna know right now, this was Bantu knots. So I slept in Bantu knots on blown out hair. Um, and my hair has gotten significantly long. I'm not gonna link check for you guys on this video. But what I will say is that I've cut my hair a few times, um, but I'm so happy and so excited about being natural. Um, I love this journey. I share with you all all the time, my fro pictures and all this fun stuff. So I can't wait because around the five year time, of course, I'm going to do a five year recap of my natural hair journey. I mean, duh, right? Number three, I have three degrees. See how I did that? Okay, I'm corny. Let's just establish that now. My friends that know me know I'm corny, so let's just. But I am still in school. <laughs> Um, it's fine though. I'm blessed to still be in school. Um, what I'm studying, school psychology, is my passion. Working with children, being an advocate is my passion. So I'm excited about what I'm studying. I'm excited about how it's going to prepare me for all the things that I will do in my future. Um, and where I plan to go with my career field. So, yeah, I'm still in school working on degree number four. How tall am I? I am 5'10". Yes. I'm 5'10 and people love to remind me how tall I am as if I don't know. I'm like, wow, you know, I've only been 5'10 since like seventh grade. I know. But thank you for reminding me how tall I am. I love being tall. When I started off um, growing and being taller than my friends when I was younger, you know, it was hard. I went through this whole phase of floods and capris, but mostly floods. Gauchos, don't ever try to play me like y'all did not wear gauchos. You all wore gauchos, okay? So don't come for me in the comments. You all did it, we all did it, okay? So I went through that phase because, you know, I was growing and nothing fit me very well. Um, so that wasn't fun. Also, when my feet grew to size 11. Also, don't judge me, okay? It balances out with my height, okay? I'm not big foot out here. Um, but yeah, I'm a tall girl and I kind of love it now. I should also mention that
that even though I'm 5'10", I will still rock some four to six inch heels. Ask somebody, okay? I have a full closet full of four to six inch heels. I have more heels than I do flat shoes, okay? Don't ever say the tall girls can't wear heels. Number six, performing arts have been a major part of my entire life. I'm not even gonna try to tell you when it started because I don't know. I feel like I came out the womb and was just adopted into performing arts. My mother was a performing arts guru growing up, traveling choirs, um, studying opera, music major. She was the GOAT. Um, and actually shot it all the way back to my grandfather, Othello Skinner, who was known as the music man, piano man around Akron in his time. And so music has just kind of been in my family. Um, a little streamlined though, because don't ask my aunts and you know my dad to sing. I'm just kidding. But anyways, so I've done all things in the arts, I feel like. Um, singing, traveling choirs. I went to Miller South for the Visual Performing Arts in Akron, Ohio uh, for middle school and the latter half of elementary school. I went to Firestone High School, okay, for the Visual Performing Arts, my alma mater that I love so dearly. And I was a voice major there, but I tapped into theater. Um, I was a dynamite and a hairspray. Come on. Who was a dynamite? Who was in hairspray? Um, I was Pilar in Legally Blonde, and I was also a music man um, in middle school. What else did I do? Oh my gosh. Um, I studied violin for three years, so I started in fourth grade, and I think I didn't drop it off until like the beginning of eighth grade. Um, and I probably should have kept going because I was really good, but I love the violin. Poetry was huge for me when I was younger. I journal all the time. I'm just I'm a creative and I love being a creative. I would not give it up for anything. Um, so that's why I'm glad I'm returning to this creative lifestyle because it's where my passion is, it's where my heart is. Number seven. I am totally 100% fully, completely in love, in relationship with Jesus Christ. I am so passionate about my faith and the way that it has guided me in this crazy journey of life. When people give me accolades, I'm like, y'all just don't know. This crazy God that I serve, he is dope and he is the one coordinating everything. I'm unashamed about my faith in God and I look forward to kind of sharing with you all pieces of my journey as I grow in Jesus Christ and how that relates to my life because I just think the world needs to know and our generation needs to know like it's cool to love God like I just love being surrounded by young believers who are defying the stereotype defying the odds um, living for Christ not in a way that turns the world away but draws them in and that's all that I desire to do and all of that is a reflection of Matthew 5 16 which says let your light so shine before men that all may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven that is how I choose to live my life and so I'm so excited to share that with you all number eight I grew up as the middle child, so I actually have two older brothers and a younger brother, um, but I grew up in my household uh, with my immediate older brother and my younger brother, and I grew up as the middle child, okay? So, and only girl. Now, before you get ahead of yourself, um, okay, see, I was about to lie on here, but there's too many of y'all that will call me out. I might have had princess tendencies, okay? I might have been a little dramatic, okay? You know, I might have been a little spoiled as well. But I turned out okay, okay? I'm out here living my best life on my own with three degrees, okay? So don't, so don't, don't let them come for you if that was you, okay? Or if that still is you, the dramatic middle child, the, the, the only girl. Don't let them steal your thunder, okay? We, we can turn out great. See? Number nine, I am a member of Alpha Cup Alpha Sorority Incorporated. <laughs> if you follow me at all, you are aware of this. Um, I do not hesitate to let people know that I have the awesome opportunity of being a member of this organization for almost five years. 
I even can remember when I was 19. I was a little baby, little baby freshman in college. I was blessed with the opportunity to serve both locally, regionally, and internationally um, when I was in undergrad. It was an amazing opportunity, AKA showed me so much world, so much life, so much connection and network, so many opportunities. Um, and I'm thinking about sharing that with you all a little more maybe for a five year celebration video. So stay tuned. Number 10. I feel everything. Some may call it sensitive. That's fine, if that's how, how you want to view it. I think I get it from my dad. He has the hugest heart. He can cry at the drop of a hat. I mean, Facebook, um, videos, commercials, basic stuff, I cry. And also, if other people cry, I'm empathetic, okay? I think it's healthy, honestly. Um, so just so you know, I do have appropriate emotional regulation. This is not an issue that impedes my life. But I feel, and I enjoy feeling, I think it's what leads me to be so successful in the field that I'm in. My ability to relate with people is something that I think is a strength and something that I think is a beautiful asset to my character. So if you need somebody to cry with you, I will cry with you. Just let me know, okay? Number 11. I have horrible sinuses and allergies. Like, it, it's pretty bad. Started when I was six, I used to just have allergies, bloodshot red eyes itchy eyes it was less struggle okay i used to have to like try to tie my hands down not to scratch my eyes it was it was bad and then around eighth grade i picked up sinuses and they came in full force okay sneezing drainage the headaches the itchy nose the itchy throat the itchy ears it's just not a good situation so now it's typically just seasonal but the wrong thing could make it act up dust pollen pet fur grass it's just it does what it wants to do so hopefully as i eat healthy and kind of change my diet up these last few months that i'll see a change because people just swear up and down that diet change can help sinus and allergies so i hope all of y'all are ready and the last but not the least at all because if you know me you already know mac and cheese mac and cheese mac and cheese it is the love of my life okay inspired by Nora Jean Skinner's mac and cheese okay it started when I was younger you were my my boo mm -hmm. mac and cheese Hallelujah. My grandmother used to make me a separate pan of mac and cheese, okay? That's how intense this relationship was. Baked mac and cheese is bae. Now, I will eat it in various forms, but if you get me some baked mac and cheese, you have found the way to my So here we are. We've made it to the end of the first video. I'm so excited. Y'all, we are here, we are here, and I'm so excited about what is to come. All I gotta say is, if you don't already wanna subscribe, I don't know what else to tell you. This is gonna be an amazing journey. I love sharing about the way that God moves in my life with you all, and all the different things that come across my path. And so that's what this is gonna be about, life journal, bringing my journal to life for all of you. If you enjoyed all of my crazy silliness and those 12 facts about me, and you think you wanna hop on board this train, go ahead and subscribe down below. Click that red button, that big one that says subscribe. Click the little bell next to it so that you can turn on the notifications and get all the updates of when I drop videos. Also, I mean, honestly, if you enjoyed yourself, why not leave me a like? Go ahead and thumbs up the video. If you have questions, if you're excited, if you wanna tell me how I did, leave me a comment down below in the comment section. I cannot wait to interact with all of you and see where this goes. We are going to have ourselves a good time. So tell your friends, tell your family about what's going on here with Life Journal with Miss DCA. And I'll catch you in the next video.
Gabe, and I'm this is things in the news or my local um, amazing black girl magic friends. I kind of love it now. I should also mention this little piece right here just doesn't want to let me be great. Jeez, let me be great. No, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Mm -mm. journey I look forward to meeting I look forward to interacting with all of you I look forward to li